Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading, the 29th of August 2016. Trade signal. So please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers. You can uh, certainly download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store at www.tradesignal.com or the uh, respective Apple uh, App Store and the Google Play Store. Okay, now in terms of European markets, Asian markets overnight certainly have taken the US sell-off in stride. You have the Nikkei up 370 points, very impressive, almost 2.3%. You have the Shanghai more or less flat and the Hang Seng, Hang Seng slightly weak. So the interpretation of US markets on Friday, uh, Asian markets are certainly taking it in their stride. No real overt bearish sentiment. Obviously, we have the uh, Aussie and the Kiwi uh, under pressure to a large extent and the Euro as well, okay, given the uh, stronger dollar signal. But the dollar certainly has uh, baked in the... Uh, the hawkish rhetoric thus far now she certainly stated that she was going to obviously raise rates um, obviously looking to raise rates and certainly uh, argument for raising rates certainly strengthened uh, but how she hasn't actually committed to it as of yet so again the uh, US dollar certainly has bounced as into that 75% resistance now so certainly looking for the dollar to certainly turn south from here if we, if we do actually surpass the 75% uh, resistance in the next resistance zone is at 127.5 127.8 and then we have the unfilled gap below as well 123.6 that needs to close but that's on the downside okay so 60 minute chart from my perspective is hitting resistance now okay and bear in mind the inverted head and shoulders formation target is uh, 127.2 so bear that in mind as well okay so 60 minute chart certainly hitting resistance and the uh, four hour chart certainly approaching the inverted head and shoulders target so that certainly is very important, something to consider as well in terms of the next potential move. USD JPY certainly is coming into resistance, so you are looking at a potential top in the dollar. Okay, so again, uh, has baked in the cake, baked in the hawkish rhetoric with a 200 pip move on the USD JPY. Uh, also, USD CAD as well, certainly coming into resistance. That's certainly something else to consider if you are trading the dollar index. So that certainly is something to consider. Now, the Euro USD certainly is plunging, as you can see here. Okay, next potential support is seen at 1.11. Okay, so again, uh, the weaker euro certainly is acting like a stimulus for the uh, European equity. So they'll certainly remain bid from my perspective. So I currently have a long bias on the euro stocks and the French CAC as well. Okay, right. In terms of equities, really the economic data this morning and overnight, nothing as of any real importance. You had retail sales from Switzerland. So again, Swiss for sales certainly coming in uh, slightly on a month on month, weaker on a month on month basis. You had your uh, European, Italian. Consumer confidence certainly and business confidence certainly coming in on the weaker side. Okay. All eyes now is on the uh, personal consumption, uh, CPEC, core personal consumption uh, and personal income, uh, expenditure, personal spending, and then you have Dallas Fed. So important components there in terms of uh, gauging consumer strength so again that will uh, obviously add to the argument of either raising interest rates or not so again that certainly is an important aspect to watch as well okay right in terms of the um, technicals let's just bring up the technicals for you and let's see exactly where we stand here okay so let's start with the uh, german dax first and foremost okay so you're putting in a doji Bear in mind that you will have a weaker euro, which obviously is acting like a stimulus for equities and therefore sending equities higher. So daily chart potential support is seen here. 60 minute chart, you are looking at a potential double bottom. Double bottom has held at 10,440. Obviously, we've had quite an impressive rally from there. You are consolidating now on the German DAX and looking to potentially thrust higher. OK, so bear that in mind. 10 minute chart at the moment. Again, it's all about that potential gap fill above. So you're looking at gap fill up here. Okay, so you're looking at that gap to close. So watch out for the gap to close above. Okay, looking for gap fill. So very, very important to uh, to watch out for that. Okay, in terms of the um, French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC for you. Okay, so French CAC, let's go to the daily chart. Daily chart, you are looking at an inside bar, so consolidation here. On the French CAC so you certainly have a bullish continuation formation 
uh, currently at present on the French CAC, given the fact that you have inside bars. A 60 minute candle at the moment is consolidating, hasn't negated that first red candle, is consolidating within that green candle. And again, from my perspective, it's all about gap fill above. So gap fill remains a target at around 4445. Okay, so again, given the weaker euro acting as a stimulus, looking for gap fill to certainly, yeah, certainly close on the French CAC. Okay, in terms of the FTSE 100, certainly is a holiday at present, so no real. Uh, move is seen there but having said that you are now currently below all support zones at 6815 6830 6800 really is your last bastion of support if that cracks and you are looking at 68780 going into monday's trading oh sorry say tuesday's trading now in terms of the euro stocks let's just quickly bring that up and give you an insight there as well okay so euro stocks at the moment you're still holding that support at the uh, 2975 Certainly a bullish engulfing candle here, looking to move higher back up to into that 3020 zone. 10 minute chart as well, looking to potentially close the gap above at 3010, first and foremost. And then, then we'll see exactly where this market goes. So, from my perspective, certainly looking for a, uh, a bounce, okay, and looking for a move higher on the European equities, and given the fact that you have a weaker euro. So, bear that in mind. Okay, so bias from my perspective, long on um, the. Uh, the actual uh, European equities, US dollar certainly approaching into potential resistance, so bear that in mind, and euro weakness certainly acting as a stimulus for uh, European exports. Okay, that really is a summation. Obviously, we've had Miss Yellen, the uh, market certainly deciphered that now and factored it into the equation with uh, several equity markets, obviously, especially US certainly down. But given the fact that the Asian markets have shaken it off and not, not haven't actually moved lower, Again, that's a bullish sign. And also, given the fact that USDJPY is always in a good indicator of risk, and given the fact that we are now back up to 102.2, certainly is bullish from that perspective. So bear that in mind. Also, Miss Yellen's caveat that uh, we can return to QE whenever the market requires. Again, is a good hedge for equities to a large extent, although the hawkish rhetoric certainly is remaining the dominant theme. Okay, on that note, please do visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the 25% cash bonus. Goodbye now.